Hello guys, Muslim here again. So today is the sixth video for the Wim Technique series, and today's topic is about which rock mode you might wonder that um, what is this the same as visual mode or not? But actually, visual mode there's the three types of it. So the first one is visual current mode, the second one visual line mode, and also the third one for today's topic visual block mode. So yeah, you usually get used to the first two types already because you use it day to day, you copy some certain chunk of the line and you paste it elsewhere or maybe you delete uh, for the line as well, you copy the whole line and paste it elsewhere so I am not one to like emphasize to this video again so yeah, so we can jump right to the visual block mode here so the the things that is gonna show for you is that um, for the certain repetitive tasks that you need to modify the certain line, multiple lines, maybe you have thousand of lines. No, it is not. Uh, it is exaggerated. It is just maybe ten, twenty, hundred of it. Maybe you don't have to do it that x time. You just do it once, and it's gonna we're gonna repeat for you to be the same pattern you enter, right? So let's say here um, I have. The source code, usually I use this for the example, for the Wim technique. This is the Windows kernel and I pick the certain fine driver for the GPU or AMD GPU. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but, but the thing is that the, the source code had a certain things that um, we can make use of it. Okay, let's say I want to comment from this line to this line here. Okay, what I'm going to do is that uh yeah and also starting from this video on the row right side of the screen you're gonna see the input history that i just hit it so you're gonna get more context of what key i'm using at that moment okay so we're gonna enter into visual block mode by control v and now you're gonna notice that on the lower left side of the screen it's gonna call v block or visual block mode okay and you're gonna hit the movement, select the, the, the things to the target line, and you're gonna see that actually it's not visual block mode doesn't like cover and highlight all the lines that you have passed. Yeah, it, it's just something like a column base, with block block base, something like that. So yeah, it is quite convenient for this case. So yep. After this, you're gonna in, insert go into the insert mode from the visual block mode and it's not um, the same as hit I, you're gonna hit uh, shift I because you wanna insert into every single highlight line that you have selected in the visual block mode so notice again, you're gonna re uh, repeat again you need to hit shift I in this case, not I, okay? and then you're gonna hit double forward slash and when you've done with it, you're gonna hit double escape two times. Right? It's gonna fill the things for you. But you might want. Yeah, I don't wanna hit double escape. It's kind of weird. So yeah, it's, it's okay too. You can do the same thing first. Um, enter things, and now instead of double escape, you're gonna just hit once and wait. Yeah, and then for a short period of time, we're gonna fill the things for you. Okay. Okay, let's move next to the next example that we might use. Let's see here. So I have all the unsigned lines here. I want to change unsigned to long. How can I do it? You might use the um, substitute command in Vim. This also work. Or maybe you want to use reject expression. So search for all the unsigned and things and then replace it with the target. This can also work too. Um, yeah, it also works when you want to get confirmed before you can replace it. But in this case, I want to show another possibility that you might use visual block mode to do things. So we can do it two times, the concept here. Um, we're going to enter into visual block mode two times. The first one is going to delete all the unsigned. And the next one, we're going to fill block. Okay. Control me. Select all the things. And hit X to delete it, and now we're done with the first pass. The second pass, we're gonna hit Control V to enter into visual block mode again, and 
then go to the target line, hit shift I, and then type long space, and then double escape. You're gonna get the text. Yeah, this is short and sweet technique for you for this time. Let's hope it's gonna be useful for you. So, see you next time.